Hi, my name is Mark Goldfarb. I'm CEO of Six Stuff Space. Indoor tracking is an issue for AR, VR, it's a tr and for almost anything out there today. Uh, if you're wearing a headset, you need to know when your head moves from right to left, up or down. If you're a forklift in a factory, you need to know now when going automation where that forklift is. It could be a robot. It could be a train in an automobile manufacturing facility. It could be a drone. Where does our name come from? It's the six movements, six degrees of freedom. It's the X, Y, Z and the roll your pitch. And that's where our name comes from. Six stuffs, we are working using the room lights in the room. HTC is a great system. It puts beacons on the wall, but you have to be in their confined space. We'll work anywhere indoors using the lights of the room. Our patent pending lens takes the light in the X and the Y directions and compresses it down to a single plane of uh, data. We work with both infrared lights and visible lights, and we provide this all at a very inexpensive, low latency and low processing power. The company was founded in February 2017. We're based in Jerusalem. We have three patents filed on our technology, mostly on the optics. Uh, we have twice received uh, grants from the Israeli uh, Chief Scientist's Office, the maximum grant that they give startups in Israel. We're currently participants in the HTC Vive X Accelerator Program. Uh, we have demonstrated our technology now worldwide and uh, we've raised uh, about $2.8 million uh, combining angel investors and the grants that we've received. Uh, we're three founders. My background is in technology and business, um, based in New York and in Israel. Daniel uh, is a uh, electronics engineer, most recently with Intel, bringing many semiconductor products to the market. Uh, if any of you remember the virtual keyboard, Cloney is one of the founders of the virtual keyboard, and uh, he's our optics genius that uh, put together a lot of the optics in our product. Um, what are we doing? You know, I don't have enough time to explain the whole technology, but essentially we're compressing the, if you look at this chart, if you would take a camera picture today, you would have to transmit millions of pixels of data in a 2D or 3D camera, which is what the current SLAM systems, the outward facing systems are all doing. What we're doing is we're compressing the X and the Y down to two single rows of pixels, which means we're dealing with only thousands of pixels, which is a fraction of the amount of data. We're actually able to run our SLAM algorithms on a Raspberry Pi processor. Uh, I have not seen any other SLAM algorithms be able to do that. You solve the heating problems, you solve the power problems, and all the other issues that are out there today with the camera-based systems. Uh, this is a picture on the bottom is our lens that we're using. Uh, up there you'll see how the data is being compressed. For anybody who's physics out there, Cloney is actually downstairs in the startup room. You're welcome down there and he can give you a physics lesson on our optics. Um, we are currently still in development, but we have started POCs with a number of major international companies, including a German automaker, uh, including a military contractor in the U.S., uh, we're in discussions with military contractors in Israel. We are dealing with three major headset manufacturers of AR and VR products. Uh, we're part of the HTC Vive X, so we're working very closely with HTC as well. We're dealing with uh, different training and maintenance companies that are using AR and VR in training and uh, maintenance. Uh, we are, smartphone manufacturers are talking to us about position tracking of smartphones indoors. Um, and of course, robotics and logistics. Uh, at this point, our technology roadmap, we're continuing with POCs and evaluation kits. Uh, we're looking to be fully in the market uh, by 2020 with our first sales happening before the end of this year. Um, the slide's a little messed up, I apologize. We're looking at markets and headsets, uh, application developers using AR and VR, robotics, and medical. Thank you very much. I'm happy to take any questions.